Okay, good morning. So I'll start with the four immutable prayer. Sim <laughs> Meditation posture, Kamba Doji Kitum, Baja posture, your cross leg is possible, if not possible, just kind of tinge up crossed, even you're staying on your chair, Lagni Nyamsha, two hands as a, you can relax on your, your knees, just kind of relaxing, or just kind of as a, a meditative ego pose kind of things, Lagni Nyamsha. Then gizig datarsang, your spine, kind of balanced and straight. Benefit for flow of your wind element, and that helps to flow of your mind. Pumbarang surshak, your shoulder, keep relaxed, you know. Uh, release any kind of this tension and not trying to kind of keep a live as a relax in your shoulder. Go chung se guk, your head tinge bent. That's usually considered as a wandering thoughts, wandering mind to kind of uh, to reduce creating that kind of a condition, tinge of bent of your head. Your eye, kind of gaze, not straight. Then your jaw, kind of leave it as a Relax. Usually they say your tongue kind of touching upper part of the ceiling of your mouth. So cross leg, 
uh, downward wind element kind of holds and protects. Gezik Dadarsan, keeping your spine straight, is sozing along the life force wind element, kind of keeps the balance. And the balance of your shoulders keeps capturing along the pervasive wind element, kind of keep balance. And go chung se kuk, the tinge of bent of your head, kind of subdued or create the balance of upper wind, king yulong, the wind that kind of erupting, kind of balance, king do yulong. So not just the posture, but find that kind of impacts transformation into the your wind element. And due to that, you know, basically grounding, centering, and free of mental wandering, and your eye gaze, that really brings the clarity. Through the state of this awareness, of your posture and the purpose, just mind to just kind of listening and witnessing, not trying to analyze. It. This awareness is almost like a, taking a picture, just taking that snapshot and keeping that awareness. Then gradually trying to witness that stillness. The external silent. The source of that silent is your own meditation posture.
Make sure your mind is not caught into your thoughts and trying to get out from your thoughts and trying to feel and witness that silent. You're trying to be a present and observing. Avoid thinking, conceptualizing. If your mind slips into your thoughts, again, not react, gradually bring back into the present awareness. Only one discipline, make sure you doesn't caught into thoughts. And abide into the present awareness. Neither your focus into the anything, There is no chat between the sense and your thoughts. At the meantime, not trying to interpret it, what you experiencing, not trying to comment, just abiding in state of awareness. Different thoughts can pop up, but just be aware 
and back to present awareness. Fundamentally, reducing your discernment mental factor. Minimized. And abide in open awareness. Just witnessing, not trying to making any input. Neither it is a focusing for something. Then gradually bringing your attention, let going your open awareness, and becoming more focused in this moment at your sensation of your breath. And this focus have a kind of, it's not status, bringing your attention to your sensation of your breath, and again, it have a kind of, not grasping or kind of let going, it's without losing your focus, there's some kind of a relaxedness into your attention and your focus. We want to have a your attention and focus with the abiding, not kind of grabbing and holding, just abiding into the sensation of your breath. So, 
that kind of like a zoom in kind of focus, stinge of grabbing or pinpointing, and then again let go in, trying to abide without kind of grasping or holding. And again, same thing. Also witnessing the silent and the stillness and openness, inner openness, spaciousness as a background. The mind is just your attention is abiding into the, your sensation into your breath. At the same time, gradually opening up to witnessing the inner silent, inner spaciousness. And again, if your mind kind of falls into your thoughts, then gradually bringing up and abide your attention to your breath and simultaneously trying to witness as a background, the inner silence, the inner spaciousness. Then from the breath, gradually bringing your attention to self and other, another, kind of transforming your attention to loving kindness, taking a little bit more further, at the meantime, not falling into the thoughts, trying to avoid your loving-kindness 
falling into your thoughts, just trying to feel it. At the same time, this loving kindness is not trying to focus, is trying to feel it. Open awareness, inner silent, inner spaciousness, these qualities abide with this compassion. Compassion feeling with the open awareness. If you're losing the feeling as a pilot light, you can bring a little bit of focus, then let go of that focus and just feel it and abide it. And then, kind of looking into the compassion at this moment. This compassion is the absence of, of shapes and forms and colors. So it's just kind of like a, from that perspective, empty of vacuity or empty of these kind of things. But our mind, we liked our expectation is to want to pinpoint something that we can say that is compassion. But at this moment, it is a empty and absence of shapes and colors. And, and this feeling of compassion, also able to feel Rikiva, any source of suffering is not kind of chosen suffering, and then it can feel it. It can feel suffering of suffering, it can feel suffering of change, it can feel all pervasive suffering. Just trying to notice the nature of this compassion. And also, that kind of observation comes from the, our expectation. We are so habitual with the shapes and colors to defining anything. So here, 
absence and empty of all, which we used to know and this compassion. Just looking into the nature of compassion. It is a vivid feeling, so it's unobstructed. I am the witness, I feel it. It is clear, because pure experience. So, answer for our expectation, what is compassion? Answer through these four, empty, shrikiva, which is basically can experience all type of suffering, and sarva, clear, pure experience, madhiba, Unobscured. So again, if this becomes too thought or conceptual, then go back to the compassion feeling, trying to abide kind of self-conscious with a compassion feeling. Once that settle, then kind of, what is the question here? Is the, our habit What is the compassion? Although it looks like a question, but we have a very expected answer. And this Tongba, Selva, Madiba, Shrigiva, these four things are disappointing answer for the answer that we are expecting supposed to be that way.
and then gradually let go in and back to non-reactive open awareness abiding into the inner silent Then, through the stage of this open awareness, as a source of our karmic purification and merit accumulation, visualize and imagine the merit field in front of your space, with the lineage, wisdom and method, Buddhas and Bodhisattvas. In this visualization, whatever you can do, you are visualizing the aspect, but trying to go beyond the aspect. This is the practice of the visualization, going beyond the aspect and feel or connect by the nature. That makes it is visualization is more than daydreaming. If we just stuck with the image then daydreaming we go beyond the image and heart connection built through the nature So over here in nature, non-duality, our body, speech and mind. Sangye Tamji Ngochik, all the Buddhas as one nature. Kusung Tuk Ngochik, all the body, speech and mind of the Buddhas are one nature. That's the how we see the Dharmakaya. And as a Mahamudra instruction, the in nature of your root guru, at this moment,
in this moment, go through the <clears throat> seven limb uh, based on a faith, you know, go through the seven limb. And during the seven limb, have a really kind of high level of emotional expression, even can be, sometimes it may look like an exaggeration, but it is part of the journey, seven limb, I think is important, but the purpose, really uplifting our mind, since a feeling of very fortunate, that connection, And uh, that linked blessing. So maybe venerable and then like if you can read the seven limb. Reverently. I prostrate with my body, speech, and mind. I present clouds of every type of offering, actual and imagined. I declare all my negative actions, accumulated since beginningless time, and rejoice in the merit of all holy and ordinary beings. Please remain until the end of cyclic existence and turn the wheel of Dharma for living beings. I dedicate my own merits and those of all others to the great enlightenment. Through the process of a seven limb practice, if you feel and witness some kind of faith and devotion, now again, same process, you can take it. This feeling, this faith, again, empty. Tomba, Shrikiva, Selva, Matiba, you know, same kind of these four. So there's a sense of kind of joy of lifting, and then there's a kind of just looking into the nature of the, this faith or devotion, this feeling. And the, in the result, we want to feel this kind of nature of a mere experience. But getting there, you need to go through the process of a deductive. And the reason is we have our own expected answer, some kind of way to point. If there is a disappointment, then again, this disappointment, look through the lens of this four. Empty, unobscurated, clear, and vividness. And then kind of, just 
nature of a mere feeling and experience. And then again, go back to re-abide into the, that connection created through the visualization of the aspect and connecting through the nature, to the merit field. Okay, then Venerable, can you read the same like last time, the foundation of the good quality? The foundation of all good qualities is the kind and perfect pure Guru. Correct devotion to them is the root of the path. By clearly seeing this and applying great effort, please bless me to rely upon them with great respect. Understanding that the precious freedom of this rebirth is found only once, is greatly meaningful and is difficult to find again. Please bless me to generate the mind that unceasingly, day and night, takes its essence. This life is as impermanent as a water bubble. Remember how quickly it decays and death comes. After death, just like a shadow follows the body, the results of black and white karma follow. Finding firm and definite conviction in this, please bless me always to be careful, to abandon even the slightest negativities and accomplish all virtuous deeds. Seeking samsaric pleasures is the door to all suffering. They are uncertain and cannot be relied upon. Recognizing these shortcomings, please bless me to generate the strong wish for the bliss of liberation. Led by this pure thought, mindfulness, alertness, and great caution arise. The root of the teachings is keeping the Pratamoksha vows. Please bless me to accomplish this essential practice. Just as I have fallen into the sea of samsara, so have all mother migratory beings. Please bless me to see this, train in supreme bodhicitta, and bear the responsibility of freeing migratory beings. Even if I develop only bodhicitta, but I don't practice the three types of morality, I will not achieve enlightenment. With my clear recognition of this, please bless me to practice the bodhisattva vows with great energy. Once I have pacified distractions to wrong objects and correctly analyzed the meaning of reality, please bless me to generate quickly within my mind stream the unified path of calm abiding and special insight. 
Having become a pure vessel by training in the general path, please bless me to enter the holy gateway of the fortunate ones, the supreme Vajra vehicle. At that time, the basis of accomplishing the two attainments is keeping pure vows in Samaya. As I have become firmly convinced of this, please bless me to protect these vows and pledges like my life. Then, having realized the importance of the two stages, the essence of the Vajrayana, by practicing with great energy, never giving up the four sessions, please bless me to realize the teachings of the Holy Guru. Like that, may the gurus who show the noble path and the spiritual friends who practice it have long lives. Please bless me to pacify completely all outer and inner hindrances. In all my lives, never separated from perfect gurus, may I enjoy the magnificent Dharma. By completing the qualities of the stages and paths, may I quickly attain the state of Vajradhara. So through this request and spiritual expression, and imagine all the merit fields dissolves to you, and even in contrived level, imagine yourself so going through physical and emotional kind of uplifted. And dissolving self-conscious. Imagining you yourself fully kind of awake your own devotion and the faith for the lineage. That kind of self-imagination and also dissolving merit field into yourself. Combination, even also imagine. Now a pampoon, state of awareness. kind of swept away all the strength of the mental factor, even the discernment. It's almost like a, when you are swept into the flood, there's no way to grab to anything. And similarly, in this is in the state of a realms of awareness. Usually mind have a many safety gears, this is that, this is this, and it kind of puts together. This now a pampion. Appearance are vivid. The function, the usual, those awareness safety gears are totally out of your hand. and make, even a contrived level, imagine you are going through this process. And through this, then hopefully, the actual experience. And first, as like a Western experience, expression, faked until make it, or something like that, anyway, just even a contrived level, create that.
then gradually let going that and back to just kind of silent, inner silent, just witnessing present moment. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Changju Simjo Rimbo Jimagi Banam Ki Gurjin Kiba Nyamba Meba Yang Kony Kondu Pavar Sho Pama Simjin Tamji De Dang Ding Yujin Yindu Tamji Dot. Changju Zamba Kano so you want that quingi melam drug gurji. Embodiment of the three divine refuges, who blesses all. Gendin Tenzin, holder of the teachings, may your lifespan last for eternity. May your excellent deeds pervade all of time and space and continuously ripen for the nourishment of myself and others. <laughs> Se chen jo du kun tu cha pa da ang da so jo we so su da min chou.